Good day everyone, welcome to another episode of TAS Training and today I will discuss to you about uh, zero rated sales for uh, value added tax purposes. Also what are the but zero rated sales and what are zero rated sales for VAT purposes. Before that I would say thank you to all our uh, subscribers and uh, for those who have not yet uh, subscribed to our channel Please subscribe and in task training, we aim to br bring you more updates in taxation and the aim of task training is to have a better tax compliance. So uh, what is a VAT serrated sale? No? Serrated sales are uh, sales of goods or services to non-resident. Serrated sales include export sales of goods or services or other sales conferred with zero rating status by law. As contrast to the exempt sale, no? that's uh, what came into my mind noon, nung bagong bago pa ang VAT. Sabi ko, bakit ang rate, ginawa pa zero rate, and hindi pa nalang ginawa na exempt, kasi zero din naman yung rate. So bakit hindi pa nalang ginawang exempt? Bakit ginawa pang zero rate ang VAT? So ito pala yung rationale or reasons why meron tayong tinatawag na zero-rated sales as against the uh, exempt sale. So zero-rated sales, you are a VAT registered person pero wala kang output tax. Yung 12% na VAT doon sa pag nagbenta ka, zero ang rate doon ng VAT. But if you are a, uh, qualified, yung transaction is qualified as zero-rated, then wala kang output tax pero meron kang input tax. So yun po ang pagkakaiba ng zero rated sale from the exempt sale. Bakit? Kasi a zero rated sale may input, ang exempt walang output, wala ring input. No? So ano ang zero rated sale? Ang zero rated sale, meron po siyang input pero walang output. So bakit nagkaganon? No? Uh, wala kang output, so saan mo gagamitin yung input mo? Yung input mo, pag zero-rated sale ka, karamihan ang ginagawa nila, they claim for a VAT refund or a tax credit certificate. So, ano pag, anong gagawin mo pagka VAT refund? Ibabalik sa iyo yung pera na uh, binayad mo doon sa mga purchases mo na may VAT. No? Ibabalik sa iyo yung VAT. O, halimbawa naman tax credit yung in-apply mo, yung tax credit certificate mo can be used as payment for your other Uh, taxes na babayaran. Kasi hindi po pwede sa pagbabayad po natin ng taxes na offsetting. Ibig sabihin, meron ka overpayment dito sa VAT. So, i-offset mo na lang yung overpayment mo sa VAT doon sa babayaran mo na withholding tax o kaya babayaran mo na uh, income tax. Hindi po yan po pwede. So, uh, paano siya maging pwede? Magpa-issue ka muna ng tax credit certificate doon sa uh, overpayment mo sa VAT And pag meron ka ng tax credit certificate, pwede mo na pong pambayad sa ibang klase ng taxes mo. Okay. So, bakit po itong mga industries na to or itong kind of transactions na to, inalaw sila na zero rated? Kasi ito pong mga uh, uh, industries na binigyan ng zero rating ng ating gobyerno, ito po yung mga uh, kind of industry that the government encourages by Why? Kasi nakakatulong po sila sa ating ekonomiya. No? An example of the zero-rated sale are the export sales. Ano pong nangyayari pa nag-export ng isang bansa? Nadadagdagan yung kanyang uh, dollar income, yung foreign currency income niya, nadadagdagan. So, gumaganda po yung kanyang ekonomiya. Yan po ang reason kung bakit tinutulungan ng gobyerno kasi ini-encourage niya na mag-export yung mga tao. No? Para nakakadagdag sa economic activity na nakakaganda sa isang bansa. Okay. So, serrated sales shall not result to an output but Kasi nga sabi natin kanina, wala nga output ang uh, serrated sale. But the input on serrated sales creditable to zero output but Pero, wala siyang output pero mayroon siyang input. No? So, but payable is inherently negative on zero rated sale. Wala siyang pay payable kasi zero yung rate niya. No? Kaya nga ang sale mo, pagka zero rated sale ka, 
wala ka talagang output tax. Wala ka dun sa 12% na VAT payable. So, the input tax on zero-rated sales can be alternative claim through tax refund or tax credit certificate. So, dalawa po yung option mo. Pwede mong ipa-refund, pwede mong tax credit certificate. It claim, if claim as tax refund, the taxpayer will recover cost. If claim as tax credit certificate, then the tax credit certificate can be used as a tax credit against any other internal revenue taxes aside from VAT. So, hindi lang po VAT ang pwedeng uh, bayaran gamit ang tax credit certificate. Sa iba pang tax, din, pwede din pong gamitin. So, sa zero-rated sales, if the input VAT on zero-rated sale is not claimed through tax refund or tax credit certificate, it is credited against output VAT at the end of the month. Especially kung uh, aside from the zero-rated activity po ng isang uh, uh, business, meron din siyang uh, subject to VAT na mga transactions. So, in that case, yung input na uh, mag-gain niya doon sa zero-rated sale niya, pwede pong gamitin niya doon sa kanyang output tax payable. Sa ibang line of business activity, hindi na po sa export sale. Illustration. Inventory purchases, debit 200,000. Debit also input VAT of 24,000. No? Credit cash, 224,000 to record the purchase of goods. No? Kasi bumili ng uh, goods yung isang zero-rated uh, entity. No? So, bumili siya ng goods, nag-debit siya ng input bat at saka inventory or purchases, nag-credit cash. Kasi doon sa binayaran niya, sa purchases niya, may kasamang input bat doon na 24,000. Hmm? To record the export sales, dahil yung 224,000 na binili niya ng cash, Binenta niya ng 400,000 pero in-export niya. So to record export sales, debit cash of 400,000 and then credit sales of 400,000. Yan na po yung entry natin. So kung mapapansin natin, hindi po siya nag-recognize ng output tax. Bakit? Kasi zero nga siya. No? Okay. If, if claim as tax credit, no? kasi di ba sa first natin na uh, example, meron siyang input tax na 24,000. So, kung i-claim mo siya na tax credit certificate, then ang debit natin is prepaid tax, 24,000, credit input tax of 24,000. Why? Why prepaid tax siya? Kasi gagamitin mo siya doon sa uh, pagkakautang mo sa tax, no? Prepaid pa, hindi pa siya nagamit. To record receipt of tax credit certificate na 24,000. Okay, so the prepaid tax can be used to settle any internal revenue tax obligations as the ta of the taxpayer, such as income tax, excise tax, donor's tax, documentary stamp tax, and others. So, pwede pong gamitin doon yung tax credit certificate na nakuha natin doon sa uh, input tax na hindi natin nagamit dahil zero rated po tayo. So, if not claimed, as refund or tax credit certificate, ano pong gagawin natin? The input VAT is simply deducted against output tax or output VAT at the end of the month. So, debit output VAT, credit input VAT of 24,000 to close input VAT to output VAT of month end. Bakit? Kasi meron pa tayong ibang VAT payable sa another activity natin. So, instead na ipa-refund natin yung VAT sa zero-rated binawas na lang natin sa ating VAT payable. No? So, this is the default treatment of input VAT on zero-rated sales. If the input VAT is not claimed as tax credit or as tax refund, then it will be credited against the output VAT. So, yun po, option na po yan ng taxpayer. So, in zero-rated sales, note that both exempt sales and zero-rated sales basically result in no output VAT. So, pareho silang walang output. Kasi yung isa, zero talaga, exempt. Samantalang yung isa, zero rated. So, wala rin, wala rin output. So, these two have separate treatment. Exempt sales are not taxable to VAT, while zero rated sales are taxable to VAT, but at zero rate. No? Since exempt sales are not subject to VAT, input taxes, traceable to exempt sales, cannot be credited against output VAT. Also, since zero-rated sales are subject to VAT, 
the input losses are treasurable against output demand. So, yun po ang pagkakaiba. Kasi, yung exempt sales, hindi mo talaga matrace ang input at saka output doon kasi exempt siya. No? Pero sa zero-rated sale, ititrace mo yung input tax kasi gagamitin mo pa yun. Either may tatlong options ka. Pwede mo siyang gamitin na pambayad sa output tax mo o pwede mo siyang i-claim na tax credit certificate or pwede ka rin mag-claim ng refund. In which case, pag refund, ang binabalik sa iyo yung pera. Pag tax credit certificate naman, ang ibabalik sa iyo yung certificate na kung magkano yung uh, overpayment mo or yung binayad mo doon sa input tax, sa purchases mo on the zero-rated sale. Pag kaginamit mo naman siya na pambaya doon sa output VAT mo, then uh, i-report mo siya doon sa VAT returns mo, i-record mo siya sa libro na kinlaim mo siya as uh, payment o doon sa value added tax natin. Nakarecord po yan sa libro at naka-account po yung input tax uh, in relation to our zero-rated sale. Kasi doon siya talaga para sa zero-rated sales natin. So, ginamit natin, dapat nakarecord po yan sa ating libro. This is uh, accounting for zero-rated sales. So, balikan po natin. Ano po ba yung zero-rated sales? These are the sales na wala po siyang output tax, pero meron siyang input tax. An example of this is the uh, export sales. No? So, under the train law, meron po tayong mga separate discussions dyan on the implementing regulations on value added tax under the train law, meron tayong mga tinatawag doon sa bago na zero-rated sales of goods and zero-rated sales of services. Doon po naka-enumerate isa-isa kung ano-ano yung mga services at saka kung ano-ano yung mga goods na kinonsider din po sila na zero-rated sales although hindi sila directly na nag-export. No? So those are also incentives doon sa mga suppliers natin dito sa Pilipinas na nagsusupply dito sa mga um, export-oriented uh, enterprises natin. Ito yung mga enterprises na nakaregister sa PESA, mga locator or uh, PESA-registered enterprises. So kasama po sila na pag nagbenta ka sa kanila, considered export ka, so zero-rated yung sale mo, merong input pero walang output tax. So this is a uh, uh, subsidy or a sort of help to the export sellers natin because the government encourages export sales. So that's all for today. Thank you and hope uh, you continue subscribing to us. The aim of tax training is for you to have a better tax compliance. Good day.